Hi there, and welcome to Taking Good Care of Your Chinchilla. Chinchillas have become very, very popular pets in the last decade or so, and for good reason. They're amazing, wonderful animals. M.F. Chapman brought 11 chinchillas to California in 1923. Most likely, most of the chinchillas that you see today came from that original 11 that were brought to California by Mr. Chapman. I know when I first met my first chinchilla, I didn't know if it was a squirrel, a part bunny, but if you look at the pictures, you'll get a good idea of what chinchillas are like in this video. The question is often asked, where do I get a chinchilla? You can find chinchillas in many pet stores and of course, reputable breeders all across the world. I would like to recommend to you though, that you find a chinchilla in a rescue. Unfortunately, there are many, many chinchillas in rescues, people that have not learn beforehand how to take care of a chinchilla and find they're too much for them or that they're not the pet that they thought they would be and it's always great to rescue an animal that needs love. It's always a great idea before you get your chinchilla to check the phone book and check the internet and make sure that you have a vet that is good with exotics, good with chinchillas. It's very important that you do this beforehand. Chinchillas are very energetic animals and they need room to jump around, uh, to hop onto shells and so forth. So I'm gonna recommend that you have a cage no smaller than three feet by three feet by three feet. Preferably much larger than that. I personally prefer the Chinchilla Mansion, which isn't too expensive and is made by Quality Cage. Shelving is very important and you don't wanna put the shelves too far away from each other so they have accidents and fall. Now in pet stores, you're going to see bedding made out of pine, out of cedar. None of these beddings are suitable. In fact, they're dangerous for chinchillas. Use aspen bedding or the bedding made called Carefresh. These are both completely safe and comfortable for your chinchilla. You're going to need uh, a water bottle for sure and a sturdy ceramic or other kind of solid bowl for their pellets. You want to make sure that you place the cage in a place that's fairly quiet and that has no drafts. Very important. Now chinchillas need plenty of exercise and it's recommended at least an hour or two outside of the cage. But make sure please that you chin proof your room. This would include covering any wires, uh, covering your baseboards with some cardboard or some other item to keep them from eating them and just watching to make sure that they're safe. There are two very important components to feeding your chinchilla and keeping him or her healthy and happy. The most important component is loose timothy hay. That means not in cubes, but loose. Chinchillas need to have an unending supply of this timothy hay. Chinchillas also require a great quality food pellet. Uh, companies that I really like are Missouri and Oxbow, which you can order either online or in several stores. Chinchillas are probably one of the cutest animals on earth. And it's very hard for most of us not to feed our chinchillas treats. You want to make sure, first of all, that you never feed them foods like avocado, which are poisonous to them. They love raisins, but you got to be very careful. Give them one or two, and they should be very happy. Uh, I personally give my chinchillas uh, pieces of shredded wheat and Cheerios, uh, things without any sugar, um, as their GI tract is very sensitive and they don't do very well with sugary items. You also might consider giving them natural rose hips, which is great. It's very important that you have plenty of chew toys for chinchilla. Their teeth are constantly growing and this will keep them healthy. Two very important things I don't want to forget is, one, plastic can be toxic to chinchillas, so if there's anything at all plastic inside your cage, you need to watch them carefully. It is not advisable to get sand or any kind of thing. You want special chinchilla dust. Uh, I recommend Blue Cloud or Blue Sparkle. Uh, even the KT brand chinchilla dust is not too bad, but you want to make sure that it's not gritty and it's real smooth. Chinchillas do not like to be wet and you should never bathe a chinchilla in water. Their dust baths a couple times a week will keep their fur in beautiful shape. It keeps them from getting stressed. They love it. And it's one of the most enjoyable things you'll ever see, a chinchilla rolling in their dust bath. Please never yell at your chinchilla. Keep them away from loud noises and make sure that if you need to catch them, you don't run after them in an aggressive way. 
I'd like to remind you that chinchillas are nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day. So if you're someone who makes noise during the day or has a day job and has to sleep at night, a chinchilla may not be the right pet for you. Uh, chinchillas are social. They enjoy interaction, uh, although a lot of them don't like to be cuddled and carried too much, as much as we want to because they're so soft. Um, you really need to spend a lot of time with your chinchilla before they can trust you. Um, I can tell you from being an owner for over 12 years that uh, it just makes me happy when they let me hold them for a while. What I would like to do is respond to some of the questions in the hundreds and hundreds of emails I've gotten since posting my chinchilla videos on YouTube. People have asked often, do I get one chinchilla, do I get two chinchillas, do I house a male and female and so forth. The answer to that is, one chinchilla can be very happy if you're able to give them plenty of attention. Two chinchillas or more can get along very well, but you need to go through a process of quarantine in order to introduce a new chinchilla if you already have one. One of the tricks I love that I use to uh, add a new chinchilla is I put cologne or perfume lightly on the fur behind the neck of one of my chinchillas and then I put the cages next to each other for a couple of weeks and as the uh, the scent wears off both chinchillas get to learn and to know about their natural scents and then there isn't such a fight for dominance later on. I recommend you never ever ever put a male and female together. Breeding chinchillas at home is very very dangerous. It's unsafe for the chinchillas to breed them at home. Also do not put chinchillas with other animals like rabbits or guinea pigs. It's possible they can get along with guinea pigs as they do in my house, but for the most part, we don't suggest that. Make sure that dogs and cats are supervised when they're near your chinchilla. There's so many places to get good information about chinchilla care. There are great books out there, and I would like to recommend to you that you join us at our forum, Lucky's Wonder of Chinchillas. Uh, we talk about all animals. We realized early on that we all love our dogs, our cats, our geckos, our rabbits, whatever. But our focus, of course, is on chinchillas. And we post pictures and videos and have discussions. And hundreds of people that have chinchillas and other animals internationally. So please join us. The link to our group is in the description of this video. And you can get lots and lots more information. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Feel free to private message me on YouTube and I'll try to be of any help that I can and give your chinchilla a hug for me. Thanks.